Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, and today we're at Via Panini just to eat some Italian food. Here with my lovely mother, my lovely sister. So let's go eat. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, where today we're at Via Panini in Vaughan, Ontario. So both locations of Via Panini are just north of Toronto. One is extremely close to Canada's Wonderland, and the other one is just a little bit closer. I think maybe it technically falls in Concord, um, just a little bit closer to Toronto. So just a heads up, this is not a food challenge, everybody. This is just a mukbang, uh, which is essentially an eating video. Um, so we are just eating normally and eating casually. This does prove that I do sometimes not eat a super extreme amounts. Um, you know, sometimes I just eat what would be more comparable to what a normal person would eat. So we decided to try their, I think it was called lunch special, or like they always have this special going on. So it was a sandwich and a pasta for about 13 or $15. It also included a water, in fact. So I got the pasta of the day, which was a penne with a uh, marinara sauce or like a red sauce. I added meatballs to mine. Uh, my sister, Justine, similarly beside me, got the uh, penne, the pasta of the day. She did not add meatballs. For a sandwich, I went with the veal cutlet, which was a kind of deep fried veal, very traditional uh, kind of style of Italian sandwich. And my sister, for her Italian sandwich, went with a chicken cutlet. So again, it was kind of like a fry, like a fried, uh, breaded piece of chicken. Um, my mother, who is to your right, she got a uh, lasagna. So she really, really was impressed by the lasagna. She figured the pasta was homemade, which it is. We clarified. So she got that. So again, between us, nothing you know too extreme. We didn't get too too many items. Um, we also did get a combination or like a tray of olives as well. Um, so the, all, I'll start with the olives because my sister just ate one. Um, so the olives were pretty good. Not an overly overly strong olive. I was quite surprised. Um, like I'm used to olives being very very like salty, spicy, flavorful, and it's not that the olives were not, let's say, super like not over. Well, no, they, they weren't that salty. They were they had flavor for sure. Um, kind of more of like an oil-based flavor rather than a salty flavor. And if you don't know me, I like my spices and my salt and pepper. So there. Uh, I also wanted to kind of beef up or spice up, I guess you could say, the pasta sauce a little bit. Um, and the pasta in general. So put about 3,000 uh, pepper flakes. Put uh, some nice pepper. Just a little bit of salt. Add a little bit of something, something. Um, so the pasta itself, I mean the pasta was fine. I find pasta's pretty hard to go wrong with. Um, it was pretty standard. I definitely enjoyed it a little bit more with the different uh, peppers on it and the salt. Um, and the meatballs were pretty good as well. Um, I wouldn't say anything too, again, very, like, a lot of this was very, eh, I don't want to say basic, but just not super, super, super strong flavors. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just speaking objectively, where I very much enjoy strong, strong flavors. The sandwich, the uh, veal cutlet sandwich, I really liked. There's kind of a marinara sauce on it or whatever, so a very uh, nice tasting uh, sandwich. I mean, how can you go wrong? It also have very big fluffy uh, breads. I did do a contest here way back in the day, and I will say that I enjoyed this sandwich a lot more. It was nice and hot. Um, not a bad amount of meat on it. The sauce on it was really, really nice. And just overall a nice flavor on the sandwich. My sister, who got the chicken cutlet, she said very similar things. She also added, I believe it was cheese and mushrooms to hers. Um, or peppers. Oh, I had peppers in mine too. Yeah, and they were great. Uh, added a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor. Um, she went the mild peppers, I went the hot peppers. But yeah, she got the uh, mushrooms or onions or something on there. Uh, in addition to the chicken and the sauce, which is the standard. 
My mother liked the lasagna. It was very, very soft, she said. She also said that uh, just like nice flavors. She appreciates more like mild flavors. Again, I very much like the strong, strong flavors. Uh, interesting thing with the olives too. They were a little firmer than I'm used to a lot of like olives, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm used to more like, I'll be honest, like canned or preserved, like pickled olives or jarred olives. And uh, these olives were definitely a bit firmer. Uh, going back to that sandwich, again, definitely enjoyed it. Uh, my sister's already calling it quits. I think she was going to save her uh, pasta and that half sandwich for later. I was not calling for quits yet, so I pretty much finished my pasta. There's a few, like, just noodles left that I left because I didn't just want to eat the noodles. And then I finished my sandwich. That what I just showed you there um, was, like, some bread that they buttered for my mother. Um, you know, some people like a pasta and a bread or whatever. So she's getting that. I'm still spicing up my sandwich even more because why the heck not? Oh, and there my sister just spilled pasta all over the floor and all over my camera. But it was okay uh, because I didn't mind. So you're going to see me go kind of clean that up a little bit. But, I mean, hey, it was uh, better, better better on the floor than on my on my lap, I guess. Now, what I definitely do have to say and do recommend is that you are going to see some of the most beautiful footage of Niagara Falls you've ever seen at the end of this video. Well, it's not even at the end. It's just after we finish up eating here, which is pretty soon. So definitely continue watching because those Niagara Falls views are just exquisite. I'm so glad I caught them on camera. You're going to absolutely love them. Whether you've been to Niagara Falls or if you've never been to Niagara Falls, you're going to see it in a whole new light. No pun intended. And it's freaking awesome. So, I've done everybody. I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. And uh, we're going to have some fun today. And last but not least, because yes, I admittingly forgot. Um, so, I'm just going to like kind of give a little overview of the total experience. So, again, food was good. Again, very just simple, like basic, whatever. But again, that's not a bad thing, but just very basic, nice Italian cuisine. Um, so, food is definitely solid. The staff was great. The lady uh, who was there working recognized me from the contest, so that was pretty funny. Um, and yeah, like I said, she was just she was really great. The staff were absolutely excellent. Really helped make this experience. Um, we all enjoyed the food that we did get. Um, so really, there's no complaints. Definitely would recommend if you want kind of like an Italian sandwich place. You're in the area. Let's say going to Canada's Wonderland, or just in Concord or just north of Toronto, eh, via Panini, definitely stop by, and hopefully they bring back that eating contest because I want to go back. So with that, everybody, now that I promise you this will be the last of the voiceover. And here comes Niagara Falls. Hey everybody, here I am with a very special guest. This is my mother. So my mother came to uh, visit me in Ontario, so here we are. And we are in Niagara Falls, New York, checking out the Niagara Falls, uh, New York version of Niagara Falls, if that makes sense. So the American side of Niagara Falls. So we're just going up on the observation deck now. Uh, we just had uh, dinner or supper at Flip Burger, which was, uh, a restaurant did a contest at a really good spot and if you can see it's a beautiful evening and there's like all the buildings there's the Canadian building side on the American side Niagara Falls is a state park so it's less built up it's more green space where on the Canadian side it's like basically businesses and buildings and hotels and casinos right to the falls so here we are on the observation deck 
I'll show you now. So, here we have the American side of Niagara Falls. And then over there, which you can't really see because of the mist, but that's the Canadian side. So the Canadian side is actually more larger. More impressive. Yeah, it's a little more impressive. It's, it's quite a bit larger. The New York side is actually a bit smaller, but it's like, to say that, it's still gigantuan. Like, it's, it's massive. It's kind of unfathomable. We're very high up. We'll continue to go out a little bit further, but water, Again, really nice kind of skyline and sunset happened over there. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'll show you some more. And down there, that's a boat. It's called the Maid of the Mist. So basically you get to see the falls from the underside and you get absolutely soaked with water. So let's show you some more stuff. Here's a bit better view of the falls. Absolutely just massive. It is really unfathomable and you just can't explain just how big this is because it doesn't look that big here on the camera. And then again, the Canadian side, which you can see it just a little bit better from this angle. The Canadian side's a little bit more just straight down like drop, whereas the American side is coming more into rocks. But still pretty dang cool. And ginormous. And we're super high up right now. I actually don't want to drop my camera. Water is very, very blue though, which looks pretty cool. See all the little birds? Like, look how small those seagulls are. Again, I'm really trying not to drop my camera, but look how small those seagulls are. So that's pretty dang cool. Um, and then, if you recall back a few videos, when I did like my uh, review at Wind, or my review at um, Copacabana, I was going to a conference at this hotel. That's the Sheridan in Niagara Falls, Canada. And I showed you the view from over there, like right there. I showed you the view from right there. Right here, that is Niagara Falls. The American Niagara Falls. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and you can see that right there. See, that is the American Niagara Falls of what is the American Niagara Falls, which is right behind these people right there. So that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, this is the American side looking at the Canadian side versus the other. What do you think, Joan? It's all pretty amazing. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty amazing here, but the most amazing thing is Joel, my <laughs> son. He's amazing, more amazing than the falls. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mom. If you couldn't hear that, my mom said it's an amazing view, but then she said something about me being amazing, so thank you, Mom. Totally amazing. Thanks. And then we're right down here about as close as you can get to the water. And I mean, just look at it. One, it's beautiful and clear, but it's just the force, the magnitude of that water. And that lighting right now, holy jump it's it looks beautiful. Just look at the water. Just look at the water. It almost just looks fake as it just rolls off the cliff essentially. That's actually super cool. It's kind of mesmerizing. As you can see, it just like starting to fall, tunnel. It almost looks like fluffy clouds. Well, that's that. Cotton candy. Yeah, cotton candy. And then we were up on the observation deck, which is right up there. So that's where we just were, up on the observation deck. And now we're down here where we were showing you, right by the water. Wow, that just looks so cool. And then what's really cool is you see the rays of light shining kind of through the clouds in the building, shining through the mist right here. Like, it's just kind of magical. Look, look at that. Just like a floating, glowing orb. I always, you know, it's like, uh, or like, you know, I don't know, rays, light coming down from heaven or something. It's pretty cool. And then the crazy rapids, which are just before the falls. Here's more of the rapids. And here is upstream from the falls. 
Because then if you look this way, there's the falls. And obviously the Canada Niagara Falls skyline. And then down there is Niagara Falls. <laughs>